Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Brad, and on this episode of Trail Recon, we are up here in the San Bernardino Forest at Big Bear Lake, and we're gonna spend the weekend up here with our good friends from the San Diego Jeep Club, and we're gonna tackle two trails. One, today, is arguably the most difficult trail up here in this forest, which is John Bull. And you know, I've been holding off doing John Bull for a while because I wanted to make sure we had our bigger Cooper tires. We got our new lift kit installed just last weekend, so it's gonna be the first time off-road on that, and we just threw on some armor. So we did some diff covers and some oil pans just in preparation for tackling this trail because we're definitely gonna hit some rocks today. It should be very exciting. And then tomorrow, we're gonna go hit Holcomb Creek, which is also a difficult trail, a little bit less than John Bull, but it should be a great weekend. Should be an awesome time with all the Jeeps and my good friends. Join us along for the ride, guys. This is gonna be a great weekend. Big Bear is located about two and a half hours north of San Diego. And while I love wheeling in the desert, it doesn't get any better than hitting a trail in the mountain forest. We met up at the Discovery Center, aired down our tires, and gathered around for a short driver's meeting. Uh, at first, when you're on the trail, it's, it's easy until you get to the real John Bull. Uh, they'll have a couple little obstacles before we get to the gatekeeper. Uh, no big deal. The gatekeeper anticipate that I'll get through. Uh, I, I might even need a spot. I usually do. Uh, everybody's going to need a spot at the gatekeeper. The rest of the stuff, not so much. But if you need a spot, let us know. Uh, the way we're going to work it is I'll be in front, obviously. Brad's going to be right behind me to where it, for filming-wise because he'll film me. Get through it himself. Then Look start at you, filming movie star. Things. Yeah, I need to make sure I, because if he's anywhere else, I don't get any film on, on YouTube. I don't get to be famous. Just to make it up for all the other times. <laughs> How many, has anybody else besides Quentin done the John Bull before? Does watching 19 videos count? <laughs> so you're it, are you only one? I learned by YouTubing. There is a chance, depending on which lines you take, decide to take, that we may end up having to hook up toe strap and and uh, strap you off or something. Uh, I got a new winch to try out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a new winch. Okay. Uh, we'll, uh, at the gatekeeper, what basically the reason people get stuck on the great uh, gatekeeper and bang things is because you're on multiple boulders at the same time, but you slide off of them. Because out here, all that stuff that's sandy, so you just slide right off of it, and now you're landing on a differential. You're on your actual lower control arms. You're on something. So then you have to do the inch thing to just try and move your vehicle 10 degrees this way. John Bull is rated as a difficult trail. And while there are lots of easy and moderate trails in Big Bear, this one requires larger tires, a high clearance, and lockers are highly recommended. The trail is about five and a half miles long, and the first section was just some easy dirt road, but it wasn't too long before we started tackling some serious obstacles. This first challenge of the day was a steep, rocky, off-camber decline. There are two lines you can take, and the section to the right is just a little bit easier, but they both require your direct attention. Oh, and this would be the easiest obstacle we would encounter on this trail. Some advice if you're hopping out of your rig to take some pictures in this section, watch your footing because one of our members took a pretty good fall. I was thankful someone else had a first aid kit nearby because my Jeep was parked about 150 yards ahead. Saturday, Friday morning. 
as we approached the first gatekeeper. I think we all took a minute just to kind of scope out the lay of the land, and we all quickly realized that this was going to take a good line, the proper tire placement, definitely going to be in four low, rear lockers on, and a good spotter to make it through these rocks. that there is probably no better trail that I could have tested the full flex capability of this new rock crawler suspension. Man, I'm impressed. Look at the flex I got. After getting through that first section without really any issues thanks to our great spotters, there's a short little hill climb and a turn to the left, and then guess what? More rocks. Yep, this is how John Bull is, obstacle after obstacle. This was turning out to be an amazing and challenging day on the trail, and we were putting our Jeeps to the full test.
John Bull is one of those trails where your rig must be in perfect working order. But no matter how hard you try, something possibly might break. With all these rocks and the flexing and the bending and the banging, the possibility of something breaking is pretty realistic. And our first casualty of the day was the Hercules Jeep. The rear tire carrier hinge had just snapped in half. But that's all right. We had plenty of straps. We got it secured enough to make sure that they would make it off the trail safely and good to go. and we were just having such a blast, all of us on the trail. After that last obstacle, we found a nice place off the side of the trail at the top of this little hill, just under some shade, took an opportunity to eat some lunch and relax a bit before we started tackling the next section of the trail. Oh yeah, and apparently engine burritos are amazing. I'm gonna have to try one soon.
Gotta love John Bull, that's why I'm always in the front. What a spectacular day on John Bull Trail. It absolutely lived up to its reputation. You know, the new rock crawler lift kit that we installed, man, it performed amazing. The flex was awesome. It was definitely smoother. I gotta say, John Bull might be my new favorite trail in Southern California. It was pretty awesome. Now, we got some bumps and some scratches and some bruises, but so did every other Jeep. It really didn't matter if they were running 37s and a four and a half inch lift. John Bull is gonna get up and bite you. It was amazing. Now, we're gonna go get some drinks, relax, get a good night's rest, and tomorrow we're gonna hit Holcomb Creek, which should be really exciting. Now, none of us that are running it tomorrow have run Holcomb Creek before, so it's gonna be a first time for all of us. I'm really looking forward to it. We all stopped by Murray's on the way out for a good drink and one of the best cheeseburgers I've had in a long time. Oh, and who knew that the president of the San Diego Jeep Club had some Bon Jovi skills? I was pretty impressed. Ending the day around a campfire with these amazing folks, man, you could not ask for anything more. We had a great time talking about the day's events and then talking about what's to come tomorrow. We are all looking forward to kitten on Holcomb Creek and tackling that trail.